I got to put you on the spot here. Top three wide receivers in the league right now. Who would you put? Oh, why are you doing me like this? I know. Man. We got to talk some football with you. I want to start by reflecting a little bit on your career. So I feel like when I go back and watch your highlight reels, fans are all in the comments on the same page saying how much they respect the fact that you walked away from the NFL when you did to preserve your health. And I know you've said that you don't regret your decision to retire when you did, but do you think that there's anything that the league could have maybe done differently that would have encouraged you to play a few more years? Or were you like, I'm, I'm good? Yeah, I don't think there's anything that the league could have done. You know, it's just a personal situation. And it's just my, from my experience in Detroit. Got you, got you. Travis, Jason, Kelsey have opened up about the toll that the football's taken on their bodies too, said they've considered retirement. As more and more players start opening up about, you know, the mental, physical effects of an NFL career, do you think it will change the perception the world has on this game or at least lead fans to feel a little bit more compassionate for players? You know, hopefully it does, you know, because oftentimes we're just viewed as objects and we don't really have feelings or, or personal lives. It's just everything's just football. But that's not the case, you know, just like you and, the, you and the next person. You know, we just have an exceptional skill when it comes to this particular sport. On the same subject, right before this, I saw a video of Tom Brady, who just spoke with Stephen A. Smith, and he kind of talked about his opinion on the current state of the NFL. And he kind of went in, he said there's – so much mediocrity right now between everything being a penalty, defensive players, weirdly enough having to protect offensive players rather than the other way around. He also talked about coaching, yeah. development isn't the way it used to be. So I'm curious, as someone who played during the same time as him, would you agree with some of the same sentiment he has? I, I What I'm going to say is that the game is uh, – uh, it's such a physical game, so it's hard to say it's softer, but it's not as hardcore, I feel like, as it was when I was playing. You know, as, as a receiver – I'm sitting here and watching them throw these flags. Uh, when the DB is touching the guy downfield, he might barely bump it to the guy, but they're throwing flags all the time whenever he's getting contacted beyond five yards. I'm like, where was this at while I was playing? I was I was dragging guys up and down the field 20 <laughs> yards. So, I mean, to, to his point, um, I mean, I would like to see the skill level, you know, guys using their hands a little bit more. Like we are in the NFL. I uh, might want to show these things off. I see a lot of drop passes. You know, just not as sharp. And it could be due to that loss of a uh, preseason game, but, um, and I can't, I can't really, um, you know, uh, stray too far from what Tom said. Yeah. We have to talk about this season now because there are several wide receivers out there right now that are really impressing us. Tyreek Hill said he, uh, back in July, he'd love to have 2,000 yards receiving this season. And right now he's on track to break your record set in uh, 2012. So do you think he can do it? Are you a Tyreek Hill fan? Oh, man, Tyreek, is a, he's a player, man. I'd love to see his uh, his maturation to the league, you know. Um, but, I mean, 100% is doable. I mean, there's an extra game, too. So, um, it's going to get hit at some point. <laughs> I've held it for I don't know how long now, but uh, maybe almost close to the decade now. But uh, it's, at some point, these guys are getting too close to it. <laughs> I know. I got to put you on the spot here. Top three wide receivers in the league right now. Who would you put? Oh, why are you doing me like this? I know. Man. Early, All right. Um, <laughs> ooh, okay. I love AJ. I love AJ Brown. AJ. Um, I like what Devontae's doing. I saw his maturation to the league. He loves Stephon Diggs is doing. I love. Oh, that's already three. Yeah, see, see, that's three. I don't. I, I don't tell him. Left. I love. I love a bunch of dogs out there. Out. See, that's what y'all did to me. Notice, dogs. hey guys, I love all you guys. Like they, they, they only gave me three. They only gave me three. <laughs> <laughs> right. No hard feelings. Well, I guess maybe the easier question then is, which receiver do you think is maybe not getting enough praise right now? Who is not getting enough praise right now? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so busy. I can't even watch as much football as I want. Even though I got like the ticket or whatever, where I can watch all the games, but still don't get to watch them all. But who is not getting uh, enough praise? It's tough. I mean, Batman, a uh, little Batman, he doesn't get enough praise just because he's under AJ, probably. So I love, I love Philly. I love Philly. That's a good one. All right. Have to get your take on the Lions this season. They're looking like real playoff contenders. I'd like to know what impresses you most about this team and if you think that they do have what it takes to even make it to the NFC Championship. They're playing as a team. They're playing complimentary football. You know, all all three phases might not be hitting all at each time, but they're taking care of each other if one of them isn't. And more than more importantly, I love what Dan is doing. You know, I doubt the former teammate of Dan back in the day, so I know what he's all about. I know what he's bringing to that team, him and Dan all of them. Dan, the biggest thing to me is having so much player, so many player coaches on that staff. When you have player coaches, players, the players tend to buy in because they have, you have somebody that's been there and done that. 
Yeah, you mentioned playing with Campbell. Uh, I know you two have lots of love for each other. He's regarded as a uh, real players coach, which I love. Rides those highs and lows with the team. Do you ever think about what it would have been like to play under him if he was your coach? Um, never had a players coach, but it's, it's a dream. I think it's a dream for every player to have a players coach. I had a players coach in my receiver room and Sean Jefferson, so that was great, but never had the head coach position. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.